Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create these three silky smooth text animations in Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so for our first animation, we're just going to go here to a new layer, click on color mat, and we're just going to create a canvas of 1920 by 1080 and click OK. And we're just going to leave it black for now. We're just going to press OK one more time. We're going to bring that color mat right into our timeline, and we're just going to drag our timeline a little bit longer. Once we have our color mat, I'm going to the text tool, and then I'm just going to use the word text for now. Once we have our text, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger by dragging one of the sides and then I'm going to grab the text and hold control and drag it right into the middle. Once we have the text the way we want it, we're going to create individual text layers for each letter. I'm just going to right click on this dead space and go to add tracks and we're just going to add an additional 10 tracks going to make these tracks a little smaller and then the very first thing we're going to do is duplicate this text layer so we're just going to click on the text layer hold alt and drag up on your mouse key and you can see we've created a duplicate layer select that duplicated layer and remove the e x and t we just want this individual text layer to be showing that t letter so once you have all the other letters selected we're going to go to the effects control panel and go to the text layer and just click off the fill we're going to do this again we're going to hold alt drag up on our mouse key and duplicate that layer once again select that duplicated layer above it and then we're going to remove the fill on the T letter we're going to remove it right here and then we're going to go to the next letter and select that E and then we're going to fill that layer and we're going to keep doing these steps until we have each individual letter on each individual layer once you've completed that step you can delete the very first text layer and you should see nothing changes which is exactly what we want we're going to select this text layer and go up to the effects panel and type in transform grab that transform and drag it right onto that text layer and then go into the effects control panels and go down to that transform layer the very first thing we're going to do is check off this check mark and change the shutter angle to 360. i'm going to drag my blue tracer just before that two second mark and we're going to change this uniform scale to check off and make a keyframe for the scale height Drag that blue tracer about a second before and then change that scale height to 146 and then drag the blue tracer all the way to the beginning of the animation and we're going to change that to zero and if we play that animation you can see it gets bigger and then smaller just to make this animation a little bit smoother we're going to select all of these keyframes the three keyframes right click on one of them go to ease in and then right click on that same keyframe and go to to ease out we're going to open up this keyframe scale height right here on the left hand side and then i'm just going to zoom in a little bit so it's a little easier for you guys to see i'm going to select this very first keyframe and i'm going to drag this blue dot a little bit forward make sure you're not going up and down because it really affects the animation you can just do Control z to undo that and just redo dragging it forward i'm going to drag forward the second keyframe right here i'm going to drag forward this little blue dot right here as well and if you guessed it i'm going to drag this one over a little bit as well so this animation seems to be a little bit long at the second half so i'm just going to drag this third keyframe in a little bit closer and as you can see we have that beautiful stretch animation we are going to add a little bit more dynamic to this so go up to the effects panel and just type in gaussian blur grab that gaussian blur and drag it to that same text layer i'm going to put my blue tracer about right in the middle of the second and third keyframe i'm going to create a keyframe for the blurriness on the gaussian blur layer and then i'm just just going to drag my blue tracer to the very beginning of the animation and set that blur to 25. I'm going to select the transform layer, hold shift and select the Gaussian blur layer. We're going to do control C. Then I'm going to select all the other text layers that I haven't added these effects to. And then I'm just going to press control V. Once you apply the transform and Gaussian blur layers to the other letters, I'm going to drag my blue tracer to the beginning of the animation. Use my arrow keys to go forward two frames. Grab the second layer and drag it forward two frames. Go forward another two frames. Grab the layer on top of it and drag it forward two frames and go two more frames and drag that final text layer forward and just like that we've created this expanding text animation all right for the second text animation we're going to start off the same by grabbing a new text layer and i'm just going to use the word text once again i'm going to grab the selection tool and then we're going to make the text layer a little bit bigger and then just hold control and drag it right into the middle once we have the text the way we want it we're going to make sure this text layer is selected here and go up to the effects panel and type in transform drag that transform layer right onto this text layer and while we're at the effects panel we're also going to grab a gaussian blur so grab that gaussian blur and put 
put it on that layer once again. I'm going to drag my blue tracer to about the two and a half second mark, scroll down to our transform layer, and we're going to deselect this check mark and crank the shutter angle up to 360. Create a keyframe for the scale, and then drag the blue tracer all the way to the beginning of the animation and change that scale to 203. We're going to easy ease these keyframes, so make sure you're selecting both of them. Right click, ease in, right click, ease out. We're going to open up this scale layer, and we're going to make these a little bit smoother by dragging these blue dots a little bit closer together. I'm going to drag them a little bit closer, I think. Now we're going to scroll up to our Gaussian Blur layer and drag my blue tracer just before the two second mark and create a keyframe for the blurriness on the Gaussian Blur. And we're also going to scroll down to the opacity on the transform layer and select a keyframe there. We're going to drag our blue tracer a little bit before the one second mark, change the opacity to zero, should create a keyframe there. And then we're going to scroll up to the Gaussian Blur and change that Gaussian Blur to 45, which will also create a keyframe. So I'm going to make these animations a little smoother. So I'm going to select the two Gaussian Blur keyframes, scroll down and select the Opacity keyframes. So the Opacity and the Gaussian Blur keyframes are selected. I'm going to right click, ease in and right click, ease out. And there we are. There's our second text animation completed. Moving on to our third text animation, I'm just going to once again create the letter text, grab that selection tool, and then just make that text a little bit bigger. Like before, we're going to create individual layers for each one of our letters. So just hold alt and drag up on our text layer to create a duplicate layer, select that layer above, and then we're going to select all of the other letters except for the first one. We're going to go to the text layer, and then we're going to deselect the fill. We're going to duplicate that layer, hold alt and drag up, select that layer, we're going to deselect the T letter, and then we're going to select the E letter, and then just continue this by duplicating it and making each letter have its own layer. This way we can make the animation even smoother. Once you have each letter on individual layers, we can remove this bottom text. Nothing should happen because that was the baseline text. We're going to select the bottom text and we're going to go to the effects panel. We're going to grab a transform layer, drag that onto the bottom text layer, and we're also going to grab a basic 3D layer. Just just grab that, make sure it's on the same text layer, scroll down to our transform layer, deselect this check mark and crank that shutter angle to 360. And I'm going to drag my blue tracer to around the five second mark. I'm going to scroll down to the transform layer and we're going to create a scale and position keyframe. Just drag the blue tracer to the very beginning of the animation. And then we're going to adjust the position. So grab this 540. Or we're just going to drag it down until we can no longer see that first letter. That should be good. And then I'm going to change the the scale to 22. Select all four of these keyframes, right click, temporal ease in, right click, temporal ease out. Open up both of the position and scale layers. And then this part's a little complicated. I'm just gonna drag this forward and drag this one forward as well. Make sure you're not going up and down because it does affect it. I'm gonna bring my blue tracer right in the middle of this first dot. The reason being is we wanna match up the scale and position animation like perfectly. So we wanna match up this animation with the first keyframe on the position layer. And then we're also gonna do it for the two ending keyframes. So try to match it up as good as you can right there and then i'm just going to grab this one and drag it right in the middle you can see this one is matched up with this one and then this keyframe is also matched up with this keyframe so that's actually way too slow of an animation so i'm just going to grab the two ending keyframes for the position and scale and drag it to around the two second mark once we have that situated i'm just going to drag my blue tracer to that end keyframe the position and scale we're going to create a keyframe on the basic 3d layer for the tilt and then drag my blue tracer a little bit before that one second mark and change that till to negative 89. And just before I forget, make sure you grab this transform layer and drag it above the basic 3D layer. Otherwise, it's going to cause a lot of complications. So we're going to easy ease these basic 3D keyframes. So select both of them, right click, ease in and right click, ease out. Like before, we're going to drag these blue circles in a little bit to create some nice ease. Now we're just going to have to apply this basic 3D and this transform layer to the 
other text layers. So select both of them, control C, select all the other text layers that haven't been affected by these yet and control V. Now, like I said before, you got to go into each one of these layers and make sure the transform layer is above the basic 3D. Sometimes when you copy and paste it, it just doesn't work for some reason. So just double check that if the animation is looking a little wonky, but it should look something like this right now. We're going to go to the beginning of the animation with my blue tracer, use the arrow keys to go forward two frames, grab that second text, bring it forward, go another two frames, bring that third text, bring it forward and two more frames and bring that fourth text and bring it forward. Once you've done that, it should look something like this. If you learned something new today, consider subscribing. And if you want to learn how to make this super realistic text animation within Premiere Pro, click the video on the right. That's everything for me, guys. Peace out.